In this video, we'll look at how to get started using the DevExpress Blazor text box. This component allows users to enter and edit a single line of text, such as a name, address, description, or any other textual information. I'll demonstrate how to add a text box to a project and customize it. I've already created a Blazor application that is configured to use DevExpress components. Now I add a DX text box to the page and use the text property to specify an editor value. I also use input ID property to specify a unique identifier to the input. Then I add a label for this text box, specify the for attribute to bind the label to the input, and the class property to add a margin top spacing. Let's take a look at this in the browser. You can also bind the text property to a data field. First, I declare a data field in the code block. Then I use the app bind attribute to bind the editor to the data field. This attribute allows you to implement two-way binding. This means when the editor is rendered, its value comes from the bound field. When a user changes text in the editor, the bound field is updated. To demonstrate this, I will output the text value. Here you can see that when a user changes text, the bound value is updated. As an alternative to two-way binding, you can specify a data field in the text property and create a handler for the text changed event. The text box works as before, changes are handled. The text box component can treat user input as a password and mask all characters. To demonstrate this, I'll add one more text box and set its password property to true. I also set the clear button display mode property to auto to display the clear button in the editor when it is not empty. The null text property is used to display the prompt text when the value is null. And I also add a label for this text box. When the editor value is empty, the prompt text is displayed. When a user enters characters, the text box masks them. You can clear the input using the clear button. You can add custom command buttons to the text box. For example, you can create a text box that allows users to enter an email and send it. First, I define two strings, email and email link, and the on email changed function. Then I add a new label and a new text box, specify its text property, and handle its text changed event. I add the buttons tag to the editor's markup to define the buttons collection, then define DX editor button and set up its properties. I assign an open iconic icon to the button. Open iconic icons are already included in DevExpress Blazor templates. I also specify a tooltip and navigate URL. This text box displays the button that allows you to send emails. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, or you can leave any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.